Tonaki. The uh, ferry ride was bumpy. A little, little bumpy. But we're good. We made it. And uh, now we're going to walk around, explore, meet our guy who's taking us over to the guest house here soon. Yeah. And yeah. Lots of things to see, including very, very old trees. And yeah. So. Tonaki is a small island with a population of only about 400 people. It's part of the Okinawa Island Archipelago, which is a tropical prefecture of Japan. There are no hotels on island. Instead, there are minshuku, a sort of family-operated bed and breakfast. Our host kindly offered to pick us up from the ferry terminal and gave us a driving tour of the island before showing us to our room. We stayed at the Minshuku Agarihama. Our room was a standard smallish Asian size. It was more than enough room for the two of us and our gear to fit cozily. We were supplied with two futon and blankets. You can pick a one or two meal option for your stay. We went with the two meal option, which gave us very delicious breakfast and dinner each day. Our room came with TV, air conditioner, plus a shower. The toilet space was communal down the hall, which wasn't a big deal. Here we are on the beautiful island of Tonaki. The beach is amazing. We're gonna hike up to the top of this mountain here. Get some pictures and then tomorrow we'll go to the top of that guy. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. We're also gonna get in the water. We're told not to. We're going. <laughs> We're doing it. Catch color. So this trail apparently is so covered up in Habu, which is the local viper, that they have complimentary sticks. Pick your own stick. You want it to be old fishing pole or a reed. Go with the reed. It's very uh, light, quick. Take out all the snakes. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> which are a little tangerines. Um, the owner of the hostel that we're staying at, the Minshuku, he uh, uh, gave us some to snack on while we're uh, kind of walking about town and hiking and looking at the beach and stuff. So, very excited. Such a sweet old man. That tastes amazing. Settle into our place. It is uh, cozy in here. We got a nice nap in it because we're old, really 88 at heart. Now we're on vacation, do what we want. Basically, it's a kid free nap and it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
We had dinner and dinner was amazing. They had like three different types of carrots in dinner because they're super proud of the carrots here and that's awesome. And I am so full right now. <laughs> we're waiting on our stuff to charge to switch over and then we're gonna go to the Trail of Lights and then after that we're gonna go to the local Ozaki and see what they have for us. So we're very excited. The middle of the island has a long passage that is lined with hukuki, or happiness trees. The people of the village wake up early every morning to clear leaves and work together to keep the island clean. In return, the trees help provide safety from typhoons and fires, and also provide some building materials. At night, the pathway is lit and provides a peaceful and romantic ambiance to the quiet village. I love the little personal touches around the island. This sign reads, a smile is a signal that we can be friends. It's signed by the Island Villagers Association. Hello there. Um, yeah, so here we are on this side of me. We have Asa Farms, seaweed. They farm that to draw in the turtles. And I think they also eat it, but lots and lots of turtles come in here to eat it. Hopefully we'll get some on video later, like 200 plus pound turtles. And on this side is this really epic cliff, which we also have to go about. Um, I want to climb it, but I'm not supposed to. And yeah, so, that is a nosy old man. <laughs> it's super nosy. Super nosy. <laughs> but the weather is getting better, it's not raining anymore, so that's cool. And yeah. Very choppy and very cold, but we're still in the water. that it is, they don't need much for the police department or fire truck, so that is your fire truck for the entire town. Also, that is a really cool fire station. In the end, we only saw a glimpse of the turtle, which is more than enough for us. The next morning, we headed back to the ferry terminal to the main island. The ferry terminal has a bunch of information ready for tourists at this table. There's even brochures in English as well. Make sure you give yourself a little extra time because that amazing soba noodle shop 
is at the terminal and the souvenirs and such purchase on your way out. Tonaki is one of those special islands that captivated our traveler spirits. The people here are so warm and inviting. They take pride in their island and do their utmost to keep it pristine. And we cannot wait to go back.